If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Coins are currently discounted, guys. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Head on over, use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team, guys. Video, guys, and today we got the NFL 50 promo, and it is live. Finally, it's 3 o'clock, and that took forever. I've been waiting literally all day. Just waiting around, guys. Before we get into the video, we go over all it has to offer. NFL 50 looks super awesome. Looks like one of the coolest card art promos we've probably had in a long time. I love that card art. It gives me some vibes to the old uh, FIFA legends style their ultimate team if you guys ever played that but first off guys poodle squad shout goes to jeremy rogers thank you so much for being a part of the poodle squad as per usual appreciate you coming out to each and every video and showing some love now for today's poodle squad all you guys gonna do is like the video turn on that noti bell next to the sub button be subscribed of course and comment down below poodle squad which you go those things you were entered to be shouted out and guys there's a lot of stuff today gonna be expensive you're gonna need coins make sure you're down below and go to mutreserve.com coins are currently discounted crazy use code poodle for an additional 15 percent off you're gonna need coins the market's gonna be crashing which means you can buy a lot of stuff for a less coins than usual so make sure you go check out the sponsor pick up some coins guys i promise you're not gonna regret it so here's the bundle we got four times fantasy bundle uh let's see let's see silver better 16 gold are better eight or eight elites now in my opinion here's the thing these are gonna be the typical bundles where you don't really pull anything great i mean like the 91 plus is at six percent it's not a horrible value uh per se but i typically don't like to take my chance on 81 pluses like that I think that the coins are better value considering again you could try it if you really like to in the 81 plus pack the odds you pulling a full one seems to be not horrible i guess 4.9 is decent not my cup of tea honestly you're probably going to be getting a lot of 81s that go into the sets typically when it comes to promos like this the packs are primarily meant to just finish the sets which we're going to go check out now so if you want to test your luck you can but me personally i may open up some get a golds after this or open up some pro, pro fantasy packs um for you guys but first let's go check out some sets if they're even out yet which i do not see of course of course guys the packs are let's open up some packs first and said then while we wait for some stuff to come out i want to see if i can pull one of them obviously if the packs are out, the players are at least out so i'm gonna try an all pro fantasy pack i never have opened these uh without money i've never i've only opened them i've only opened them money i've only never opened them with coins so 30k let's see if that's a decent value i want to pull reggie bush that's what i'm kind of aiming for here let's see so first we got a legend a low legend here 82 lawrence taylor that's actually pretty good uh, we get okay, so we get these two rounds. Oh, we get every single one. Forget about that. So the second round, we get gold. We get an elite right there. 82. Ooh, another one. T.Y. Hilton, Ronnie Stanley. Okay, we're gonna be opening up another one because that was a really good pack. I see which one more shot. We can pull some. I definitely made my coins back there, right? I imagine. Let's open up one more. See if we can pull one 50 player. Uh, even if it's a low one, that's fine. Again, eventually I'm going to have to do some sets anyway, so let's just go ahead and see. So here we go. We get a gold, a silver, a gold, a rookie, an elite, 80 Michael Brockers. That's not horrible, like I said, because, again, it's just the first round. This is where we're looking for the money here. So we got a gold, a gold, a gold, a gold, and we get a... Uh, not too great. Okay, so we're done there. 60k down the drain. At least I took my luck there. Now, let's go check out these solos, guys. Now, there is a free player, which is super, super exciting if you guys didn't know. All right, guys. So, here are the solos. The weekly 50 and the 50. So, the weekly 50 are going to be your week-to-week -week solos that you play. You pick up your free Nat players. Now, you do get how many here? You get 16 total players. And these are one for each week, apparently. So, each week, you can get how many stars? Uh, 16 stars per week. And you can get all the way up. Now, it does appear that when you get enough of these, you will be able to get a free player, which is what was pretty interesting about it. If we come to this one, it says right here, the 50 are some of the greatest players to grace both the gridiron and the fields of Madden Ultimate Team. Play these challenges to earn fresh versions of players from the 50 before they expire on uh, the 10th, the 2nd of the 10th month, which is, of course, October 2nd. So that is going to be about a week from now. So you have a week to do some of this launch week, and this gets you nat fresh versions. Now, I believe when the math was all said and done, you end up being able to get one free player. For the first half of everything and then another free player so there's two free stack players total uh, that you're able to get now again you're gonna have to wait all these weeks of course just like anything else with the other ones but so you get three there five seven eight nine ten now i don't believe you get multiple players here so this is just for the first week and then here you get another one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so that's already over there nearing nearing 32 as well as there's going to be we this one's weekly right here so you're going to get more refreshed of this so make sure you're playing these collecting those players because getting two free of those are going to be a big advantage and go a long way in getting these two of the best players in the game of course by the time you get them 
They might not be the best, but they're going to be right there in line for it. So let's go. Since everything's kind of delayed it's coming to the game, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the stuff on the blocks. We've got Walter Jones, Jimmy Graham, Derek Brooks, Reggie Bush, Mondi, and Mondi Asamwaga, or Asamwaga, you say it, Tyrone Calico. We got Brian Dawkins and Reggie White. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's almost all of them. Let's click on some of them. The Jones, of course, you saw most of the stats from the back of the card. Pretty self-explanatory for the most part. Going to be a top tier, 90 plus everything blocker. Going to be just a complete cog on the left side of the field. Going to be stopping everything coming through. Not the one I'm most excited for for the most part, which is probably why he's one of the cheapest ones. Jimmy Graham actually is super exciting. I really like Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham's going to be one of the best catching tight ends, if not the best catching tight end. Or at least up there for it. Combined with speed, decent speed, of course, you can always power him up, get it to like an 85, which is really fast right now for a tight end, as well as get the medium route running. Now, I wish it was a bit higher in the medium route running because that's super important. It's only the short, which is going to hold them back a little bit. Had he gotten that medium, it would have been a lot better in general, but still super cool. Six foot seven target, always good to see that. I'm not a fan of Derek Brooks personally. I mean, as long as the zone's good, he's going to be useful, but. It still kind of sucks. I mean, his stats are decent overall. Now, what I'm a big fan of, like I said, is the zone, which hopefully I gave him a good one, which is going to be an 88 zone cover. She has powered up and chemmed up. He will have above a 90 zone, which means you can leave him out there in space. I just wish he was slightly faster uh, for the most part. Let's go check out some more guys here. So we got Reggie Bush, which is who I'm super, I'm, that's who I'm excited for. This is the main guy. Haven't had him in a while. At least a good card of him. So 91 speed, 92 excel, 91 agility, 86 carrying, 82 catching, 91 change of direction, and 89 break tackle. So gonna be like baby, baby Barry Sanders. He's going to get a 92 speed powered up, 93 excel, 92 agility, 87 carrying, 82 catching, 92 change of direction, 90 break tackle. We're gonna hit all his thresholds that he pretty much needs to hit. Plus being a great catcher. Now let's see if his route running also is there. Change of direction, of course, is really good. 91 juke, 88 spin. Gonna get the abilities. And let's see if his route running. 82 short, short route running. He's going to be a fiend. He might even be better than Barry. But real quick, I just want to stop for a second and check. Ah, well, after this, I'll check what Barry's going for because his price probably dropping. You know the market's coming down right now. There's just too much stuff in the game. Very similar to NFL, uh, the, the NFL 100 last year. Now, the only issue with uh, Asamoa is going to be his speed. I feel like 90 speed's good, but I thought he would have been a bit better. Now, powered up's going to be a 90 speed. I mean, 90 speed's good. I just was kind of hoping it would have been a 91. And the zone's a bit low. But everything else, though, he's going to get, like, really crazy press, really crazy man, play rec, everything else. I just wish he would have had 91 speed as well as a slightly higher zone. Otherwise, the card's still great. I imagine his catching is pretty decent. Where is it? Uh, I cannot find that. But there we go. 70 catching. Not bad at all. I know it's not an 80. But it's still pretty decent now we do of course we still have a lot more cars the price are coming down pretty fast though i wouldn't recommend buying anything just yet just keep sniping them out and check now calico is who's really enticing here he's kind of like tyree kill a 91 speed 90 jumping 86 catch 89 catch traffic 89 spec 85 short 88 medium route running and 91 deep route running powered up and chemmed up he's going to probably be the best wide receiver in the game or at least tied for it he's gonna get 92 speed which is super fast gonna get the deep route running and the medium route running threshold if you use the right chems on him as well as the catch and traffic and spec catch threshold so it's gonna be an insane catcher crazy fast crazy route runner any six foot four he's gonna be a meta card there's no other way around it i don't see him being anything other than a meta card just based off those stats alone now of course we still have a few more guys here uh reg brian dawkins of course brian dawkins is going to be absolutely insane gonna be a way better steve outwater essentially Powered up and chemical, gonna get 89 speed, 89 excel. But what's most important, he's gonna get above 90 zone and above 90 hit power. So he's gonna be able to lay the boom, stop the run, play crazy zone, be fast, and he's six feet tall as well. Now let's just check his block shed, because of course that's super important as well. 72 block shed honestly isn't horrible, and a 75 finesse move. Not horrible at all, considering what you need him to do. Should be able to shut off some wide receivers with that pretty easily, because that's, that's what's gonna be blocking him for the most part. And then I believe we have Reggie White. I don't know if I missed anyone there, but Reggie White, of course, is going to be one of the best ones. Uh, let's see. So Reggie White is going to be an insane pass rusher. He gets all the thresholds, power, block shed, play rec, strength. Now, of course, powered up, chemmed up and everything. You're going to be able to get his power moved to probably like a 94, 95 play rec up there. He's going to be overall insane. This card's just, this card's going to be a beast. Now, the prices overall, like I said, I think they're going to, I think the worst ones, like a Walter Jones per se, will probably end up falling around like, the mid low three probably low 300s and then eventually down to the 290s the best ones like a reggie bush or the mace end up sitting around the 400 600k range and then the best best ones like whoever people deem as like the the crazy glitchy one maybe in the 600k range kind of like the uh, lawrence taylor range now let's just change this real quick and go check out some other stuff here so this is obviously crashing i told you guys sell these legends beforehand i told you they were going to fall in price crazy 
Hopefully, you guys did some of that. And then Barry's at 850 now. He's not as low as I thought, not being impacted as much as I thought he would. But let's go check out the sets and the solos. Should have sets. Here we go, the 50. So the way you get these cards, very simple. All you gotta do is put 32 items. So just those 81, you need 32 of them per player. So make sure you pick the one that you want. Don't go ahead and do half and half and then fill it out. Just pick the one you want. Like I said, my favorite right now, probably Reggie Bush, Tyra, uh, Tyrone Calico, Calico, Reggie White, Brian Dawkins, and then Jimmy Graham is a close, a close second behind all of them. If only he had better medium route running, but well, still pretty solid. And then of course we have the 50 exchange, which is you exchange your 80 uh, golds for some 81. So if you have a big binder, you can go ahead and take advantage of exchanging some players. I don't know how many I have there. Again, depending on the size of your binder, it will probably depend on the usefulness of this entirely. But the 50 overall looks great. We have two free 91 plus players. Again, it could go up because more players are going to come out. So as more players come out, the more you can use it for. So 91 plus is just a starting point. We got challenges. We got the free players. We got sets. We got players coming in. This is every Friday. So for the first week, it's going to be only it's going to be eight this week. And then starting after this, going to be three every Friday, similar to NFL 100 and kind of similar to Mutt 10 on that Friday midday release. So kind of exciting that we got some more weekly content that we can really just count on. And then as far as the pack, guys, don't waste your money in the packs. Go ahead and make sure that you go and pick up some coins and get yourself the players you need. The right value versus opening packs in hopes of getting the right stuff. Because even here, if you only get four there, then a few more, you may have to open up a few bundles to get the players you want. Go ahead and just pick up the guaranteed coins. Make sure you use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. The link will be down below in the description. Again, shout out to Jeremy Rogers for the Poodle Squad. If you want to be shouted out, oh, okay, you just like the video. Turn that notification bell and comment down below the Poodle Squad, guys. That is about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. I'm out. Peace.